Hello everyone and welcome back to my pathology playlist and this we are doing from medium robins and the topic that we are covering is lung disorders or aaj hum granulomatous disease start kar rahe hain sarcoidosis is the topic of discussion today now sarcoidosis is a multi system disease pehle to ye baat hai ki sirf ye lung ka disorder nahi hai it's a multi सिस्टम अभी हम देखें कौन कौन से सिस्टम इन्वॉल्व होते हैं एंड देयर द इटियोलॉजी इज नॉट कम्प्लीटली अंडरस्टूड हाउ एवर इट इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय नॉन केजीएरिंग ग्रैनुलोमेटिस इन्फ्लेमेशन सो व्हेन वी से केजीएरिंग चीज लाइक अपीयरेंस दैट इज मोर सो फॉर ट्यूबरक्लोसिस बट इन सार्कोइडोसिस दिस इज ग्रैनुलोमा फॉर्मेशन सो देयर आर हैवी इन्फ्लेमेटरी सेल्स इंक्लूडिंग मैक्रोफेज मोनोसाइट सिस्टम बट देयर इज नो चीजी अपीयरेंस ओके um and this granulomatous non caseating inflammation is seen in many tissues and organs we discuss it here because uh, lung ke sath kyun discuss kar rahe hain because one presentation of sarcoidosis is also the restrictive lung disorder to isko restrictive lung disorder ke sath yahan pe discuss kiya ja raha hai other disease including mycobacterial or fungal infection and berylosis sometimes also produce non caseating granulomas therefore the histologic diagnosis of sarcoidosis is the one for exclusion yani aap histology par biopsy par isko bhi rule out kare isko bhi rule out kare mycobacteria ko bhi rule out kare although mycobacteria typically produces caseating granulomas but sometimes it may produce non caseating granulomas as well depending upon what is the concentration of the microbial load so you have to actually exclude by all relevant staining ke ji ye mycobacteria bhi nahi hai ye fungus bhi nahi hai ye berylosis bhi nahi hai so on histology the diagnosis of exclusion tab ja ke isko ab kehte hain ki ye sarcoidosis ho sakta hai although sarcoidosis can manifest in many different ways bilateral hyalur lymphadenopathy or lung involvement visible on the chest radiograph is the major finding so at the hyla there is bilateral hyalur in involvement and enlargement i and skin involvement uh, each occurs about 25% of the cases this is also considerable 25% logo mein aapko i or skin involvement milegi and either may occasionally be presenting feature of the disease so um, uh, so there are lung issues there are so many so many katra multi system involvement aap dekh rahe hain eye skin lungs right sarcoidosis occurs throughout the world affecting both the genders and all the races and all the age groups there are however certain interesting epidemiological trends so consistent predilection of adults younger than 40 years of age right so if you've crossed this you are good a high incidence in danish and swedish people Uh, and in the united states african americans uh, whom the frequency is 10 times higher compared to the whites a higher prevalence among non smokers an association that is virtually unique to sarcoidosis among the pulmonary disease is very very important so if in the board exam they are pointing you towards a disorder of the lung which is not associated with smoking think about sarcoidosis because every other thing is associated with smoking but sarcoidosis is not okay in fact it has a higher prevalence in non smokers so if you smoke uh, the incidence is low all right etiology and pathogenesis although the etiology of sarcoidosis remains uh, unknown several lines of evidence suggest that it is a disease of disordered immune regulation in genetically predisposed individuals so this is a person who has bad genes and then there is an immune disorder as well um perhaps due to environmental issues the role of each of these contributing influence is summarized in the you know this is all very high yield this is very very frequently tested in the examination severe immunological abnormalities in sarcoidosis suggests the development of a cell mediated response so when we say cell mediated response it is usually lymphocytes t lymphocytes that we are talking about the process is driven by cd4 positive cells and when we say cd4 positive cell this is a subset of t cell which is called t helper cells okay these immunologic clues indicate the following number 1 intra alveolar and interstitial accumulation of cd4 positive t helper 1 cell type so sarcoidosis ke patient mein you get t helper cell types iski bhi further categories hoti hain yahan category 1 ki baat ho rahi hai oligoclonal expansion of cd4 positive th1 t cells within the lung as determine the analysis of t cell receptor rearrangements so basically mean ye hai ki aap flow cytometry karte hain dekhte hain ki t cells ke surface pe kaun se protein express ho rahe hain so you get to know that this is cd4 t helper 1 category increase th1 cytokine so in cell say these are t cells they release particular cytokine or uh, helper t cell type 1 say jo cytokines release ho rahe hain they are interleukin 2 and interferon gamma increase in several cytokines in the local environment including tnf il8 and uh, mep1 alpha 
mifepristone alpha means macrophage inflammatory protein 1 alpha that favor recruitment of further t cells so t cells are there and then the more t cells by these chemotactic mediators energy to common skin tests such as candida uh, and poly so this is again an immunological finding and polyclonal hyper gamma globulinemia familiar racial and clustering so these are all the features which if are presented in the exam uh, must be picked up by you as an evidence towards sarcoidosis particularly the presence of uh, t helper uh, one type of cells now after lung transplantation sarcoidosis recur in the new lungs at least in one third of the patient because the immune system is the same and it perhaps attack okay and uh, finally severe putative antigens have been proposed as an itching agent for sarcoidosis so if there is a mycobacterial infection viruses or borrelia then um, sarcoidosis pops up what is the clinical picture uh, it depends upon what we are talking about so because it involves a lot of different uh, systems it involves lungs it involves other systems of the body so in many affected individuals the disease is entirely asymptomatic at least initially discovered on the routine chest radiograph where you see bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy um, in others peripheral lymphadenopathy may also be there there may be skin involvement there may be eye involvement splenomegaly hepatomegaly and uh, sometimes there may be signs and symptoms of respiratory involvement involvement including shortness of breath dry cough and some discomfort during breathing substernal so all pointing towards restrictive lung disorder and there may be associated signs and symptoms uh, of a chronic disorder including fever fatigue weight loss and rest these are all um, as you would see in any chronic problem a definitive diagnostic test for sarcoidosis does not exist when aapko start mein bataya it is a diagnosis of exclusion and establishing a diagnosis requires the presence of clinical as well as radiological finding and a lot of biopsy and non cagating granulomas and excluding the other disorders such as mycobacterium and fungal disorders sarcoidosis follow an unpredictable course characterized by either progressive chronicity or periods of activity interspersed with remission kabhi sahi ho jayega kabhi increase hoga हर तरह का स्नैरियो देखने में मिलता है द रेमिशन में भी स्पॉन्टेनियस और इनिशिएटेड बाई स्टीरोड थेरापी एंड ऑफ एन आर परमानेंट ओवरऑल यानी स्टेरॉयड थेरापी इज अ डेंजरस थिंग फॉर सार्कोइड पेशेंट्स बिकॉज इट्स फर्दर शटिंग डाउन द इम्यून सिस्टम ओवरऑल सिक्सटी फाइव टू सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द अफेक्टेड इंडिविजुअल रिकवर विद मिनिमल और नो रेजिडुअल मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड नदर ट्वेंटी परसेंट डेवलप परमानेंट लंग डिसफंक्शन और विजुअल इम्पायरमेंट माई गॉड दैट इज समथिंग सीरियस गाइज ऑफ द रिमेनिंग टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट मोस्ट सकम टू प्रोग्रेसिव पलमोनरी फाइब्रोसेज and if this happens then right heart failure corporal monal okay right okay so that was all about sarcoidosis basically kuch uh, morphological features hain uh, the cardinal histological feature of uh, sarcoidosis is non necrotizing epithelioid granuloma so you see the granuloma we know that we see cd4 positive t uh, type of cell two other microscopic features are uh, shaman bodies laminated concentric Uh, composed of calcium and proteins uh, these worlds are very commonly tested in exam and steroid bodies these are stellate inclusions enclosed within the giant cells their presence so they usually don't um, test you even if they give an image in the exam they will take you through the clinical scenario so that you point it towards uh, diagnosis of sarcoidosis the lungs are involved at some stage of the disease in 90% of the patients and this is serious and this can happen diffuse interstitial fibrosis intrathoracic hilar and paratracheal lymph nodes are involved and this is actually one of the incidental finding that you find in diagnose sarcoidosis skin lesions are very involved uh, erythro erythema nodosum is the hallmark of the disease eyes are involved and lacrimal glands also involved in many patients and the ocular involvement is basically in the form of iritis inflammation or iridocyclitis and there may be choroiditis even optic nerve involvement right and it can lead to suppression of lacrimation if the lacrimal glands are involved leading to psycho syndrome and uh, um, then uh, these patients maine yahan bataya tha aapko bhi thodi der pehle ke sometimes it can be so serious that it can lead to blindness even okay unilateral or bilateral parotitis with painful enlargement of the parotid gland has also been reported some go on to develop xerostemia which means dry mouth because the salivary gland is involved and combined uvo parotid involvement is then known as mic to lix syndrome so if they ask this this means eyes involved and parotid gland is involved as well 
okay is spleen may be involved liver may be involved bone marrow may be suppressed so all these sort of so see a disease which uh, is not very much clear ki hoti kaise hai uska itna sara involvement hai sarcoidosis very important for your examination purposes okay they usually test about this in the exam ek aad question to zaruri milta hai to that was another restrictive lung disorder completed today thank you very much